Hey guys, Marco here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working in Miami Beach with my friend Kenzie, who I'll link down below. We're aiming to shoot three looks. Maybe we get four out of the way. Guys, as usual, if you have any questions, put them down below. And thanks very much for those new subscribers. And if you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing. If you love the content, share it with a friend. We certainly appreciate it. To those of you guys that have asked questions in the past, please let us know. I'm happy to help you guys any which way I can. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Peace. Three quarters, good, good, beautiful. Love that. Now with that, with that left hand, just kind of bring this. Ah, that's it, gorgeous. And then close the eyes and feel that sun. Ready? Love, 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 love. Good. Let's flip that hair a little bit more in front of you, if we can. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. You got it. Gorgeous. Love. Three quarters, good. Awesome. Ready? Awesome. Gorgeous. Good. I'm at full body. Love that. Good job, Kens. Awesome. Beautiful. Where is that ref Oh, okay. So this is really interesting. So the sun's hitting that and it's causing this little, like if there was a reflector, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a reflection happening on her right and it's actually coming because the sun's hitting that window which is amazing i think we're good with this look okay. yeah awesome this is great good and if i didn't say it, it's the 50 mil 1.2 which is another great lens highly recommend it good awesome good job kids love 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 and that light keeps changing. So one of the tricks I like to do when the camera and the light keeps changing is I'm I'll switch to um, aperture priority. And the reason why I do that is because I shoot front lit. So aperture priority may be a problem if you shoot a lot of back lit, but when you shoot front lit, it's always gonna try and keep the metering. And that way when I'm looking at these pictures, there's not a lot of variance in the exposure. So that's one quick tip that I like to share photographers is when you shoot front lit, don't be afraid to set your camera to aperture priority if the light keeps changing. Right now there's a lot of cloud coverage and so for me it's just easy, right? I can get my shots much quicker this way. All right, Kent, ready? Beautiful, Kent. Great, these cameras have really good dynamic range. Beautiful, that's it, perfect, good. Awesome, so I'm shooting a lot more than I usually would. And then another cool thing is, don't be afraid to use a hair tie. Hair ties could save your day. Beautiful, tilt the face this way, Ken, the other way. There you go, and then chin down. That's, oh wow, that's it, gorgeous. Stagger those legs a little bit more. Beautiful, exaggerate that pose. Now, right there, eyes up, no. Keep the face where it was. Bring the chin this way a little bit more. Eyes, there you go, perfect. Chin up, gorgeous. Another thing that I like to do in terms of posing, guys, is I will pose the body and then we're gonna work on facial expressions. If you heard me say everything stays, I already had a conversation with Ken Shinos when I say everything stays, it's basically freeze. And then I'll have her adjust the, the few things that I want her to do. So work on positioning the body and then have her change her facial expressions. So that's what we're gonna do right now, Ken. So let's go back to that position. There you go. And then the position of your body is great. Maybe front face a little bit more this way. So bring, there you go, good. And then all we're gonna do is work on the upper part. So your expressions, the eyes and the hands, the body and the torso stays. Maybe exaggerate that leg a little bit. That's it. Ready? Chin up. Gorgeous. Awesome, keep moving, keep moving. Good. Don't forget about that left hand. That's it, perfect. Beautiful. Wow, this is great. Hold it right there. Yeah, love that. Close the eyes. Feel that sun. Let that sun, if, if, if you, if, if you want to get the best light for your models, guys, the best thing to do is say, when the light, close your eyes, feel the sun on your face. When it feels even, and we'll do this with Ken's now, close the eyes, chin up a little bit, and then find that sun. It should feel like it's, it's burning a little bit on the face. Chin down just a bit and then micro adjustments. And then that's a perfect pose. Stay right there, close the eyes. And then all I need you to do is part those lips a little bit. Ready? Three, two, 
one. Awesome, we got it, good job, Kim. And that's it, we just got like six cool shots and, all, and she didn't move a, a bit. All she did is work on the hand position, facial expressions, and then we move on. You know, just feel that sun on your face. But you see how my legs, my legs are always gonna be, this one is my balancing leg, you should be able to balance. And then this one, you're just gonna break that leg. You're using this hand to hold you. And then now with this one, you can work. And then all I'm looking for is facial expression. And then at some point, I'm gonna say eyes on me. And then there you could bring both hands and then facing the camera. I'm gonna shoot from that direction. So guys, you hear what I'm saying? I'm actually doing the pose. I'm telling her what I want her to do. And I'm also telling her where I'm shooting from. The other thing I'll do is I'm gonna take a couple of shots and then I'll show them to her so she sees exactly how the images are coming and then we make micro adjustments from that. All we're looking for is three to four shots per little area and then we move on. Ready? Perfect. See, I did the pose and now we're gonna make micro adjustments. So what we need to do is just break that left elbow just a little bit. So break the left elbow, that's it, perfect. And then give me that leg, good, awesome. All right, now let's, let's do some front facing. And I'm shooting low so that you can see me. That's another great thing. I shoot um, primarily front lit. So the issue for the models is that if you're too high, she won't be able to see. So just get down low, shoot up on them a little bit. Not only it makes them look more uh, powerful, maybe a little bit more confident on the shot, um, but it also helps them with their eyes. All right, Ken's ready? One more time. That's it, beautiful. Oh my God, this is the shot, if any. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, the red with the green looks so good. Awesome. Let's change that left hand because it's kind of pointing at me. There you go, perfect. Actually, let's do that. You just give me a great idea. Instead of holding onto that post, now you can be on this and feel free to pull on this because it, it sounds like it's gonna, if it supports me, it supports you. All right, so this is, this is great because you can kind of start finding angles and dimensions in your body, okay? So use this. Again, I always have, I never have a model do something I can't do myself. So I'll show it to her and you saw her, she's like, okay, it works, it's holding me, it's gonna hold her, all right? So that way it's easier for you guys to get the shot. This is really beautiful, love. Good, awesome. Now, photographers, if you're new in the, in the photography game um, and you struggle to get exposure on the face or on the body or on the skin tones, I'm gonna show you a trick that's worked for me every single time. And the trick is, obviously please let your model know you're doing this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point my camera to a part of the skin. So in this case, I'm gonna meter on her abdomen here and I'm looking for that perfect exposure. I'm basically telling the camera, don't look at anything else on the frame other than the abdomen, which is basically skin tone, right? And then, so that's one 1,000 at 2.8, and that's giving me a plus three metering, which is perfect, okay? And now, that's my metering. Anywhere I move, so long as this light doesn't change, she'll be perfectly exposed. That's really one way for you guys to nail exposure. All right, ready, Kens? Eyes here. Beautiful, love, good job. You're good, it's fine. Part the lips a little bit, beautiful. Chin down just a bit, that's it, beautiful. All right, let's work on those eyes. The eyes, all I need you to do is kind of squinch them a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Beautiful. Awesome. Sun's changing. Beautiful. Awesome, follow me. Let's get that nice, even light on you. Beautiful, follow me with your torso too. That's it, perfect. All right, so one trick that I was talking about earlier is if you're struggling to get good exposure, especially in these changing conditions. If you look behind me, it's a white wall. If you're shooting front lit, uh, what's gonna happen is the sun's gonna come in and it's gonna hit that white or it's gonna hit this white and it's gonna bounce right back into the camera. And so it's gonna throw you off. So one quick and easy way for you guys to nail exposure is get your camera as close as possible either to the face or to the abdomen. If you're shooting swimmer, this is a perfect area. And then meter to that. 
right? However the light's hitting, meter to that. And that way, you're telling the camera, don't worry about all this white bouncing back in, just meter on the skin tones and then pull back. And then if you wanna be safe about it, once you nail that, drop it by a third of a stop so you can save your highlights and you're gonna get perfect exposure every time. Now, that trick works if you're shooting front lit. So if the sun was kind of hitting the model direct, that would be front lit. And then the, the easiest way for you to determine is the sun should be to your back. Um, that trick will work every single time. So again, if you're struggling, that's video or, or stills. That is one way you guys can get your exposure nailed every single time. It's really hard to see these displays sometimes, but if you get just really tight and do that, you'll nail exposure every single time. All right, guys, so we initially had intentions of shooting by the lifeguard station, but it's, it's really windy. And the problem with that wind is that it's bringing a lot of sand surf in. So it's hitting the lenses, the hair's all over the place. So the best thing to do is just kind of give up on that and we move to a little park off of the beach and what i'm looking for is just a little green she's wearing red and we're just going to shoot this like she's at, at, at you know at a park just enjoying the day it's going to make for really pretty pictures and uh it's gonna you know i think it's gonna work out all right so because i'm shooting on the 50 mil 1.2 i'm gonna set it to 2.0 and just to have a little bit more blur in the back and we'll see what this looks like Oh, this is pretty. Chin up a little bit, Ken. It's beautiful. Dude. Good, good. Love the smiles. Good. Eyes here. Perfect, perfect. Awesome. Yes, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Good, yes. All right, guys, that's it for today. Three looks, Miami Beach, beautiful day. Couldn't have asked for better outcomes. Kenzie always knocks it out of the park, and I'm so excited to show you guys these photos. Make sure you give her a follow. Check out some of the photos. She'll be posting them as well. But Kenzie, what'd you think? It was a great shoot. It's a little windy, but I think the photos turned out amazing. I so think we did pretty good. I'm excited to see them. Tell them where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram at Kenzie Hope with three eyes or selectmodel.com. Select models. Guys, again, thanks again for subscribing. Thanks for the love and for showing some support. And as usual, feel free to ask any questions. I'm here to help you guys. This is what these videos are all about. So with that being said, thank you for subscribing. Give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.